Today is Wednesday, 15th of June, 2022. With Pastor Chris teaching, our topic for today is Sustain the Glory Through Prayer. Our theme scripture is taken from John 12, verse 28, and it says, Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. Hallelujah. Luke, by the Spirit, reports what happened to Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration as he prayed. And as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered, and his raiment was white and glistering, as we find in Luke 9 verse 29. That means the glory increased. But that glory and power were from within him. This is the transformation that each one of us can and should have through praying in the Holy Ghost, Pastor says. That's the secret. Hallelujah. If you pray for a short time, you may not sustain the glory or it could fizzle out. For example, when we minister to people and lay hands on them, it does something for them at that moment. But it's a completely different thing for that power to stay. To sustain the effect and the impact of the glory, Pastor says, you must give yourself to prayer, praying in the Spirit. Glory to God. You can't spend your time in godless chatter and experience this. 2 Timothy 2, 15-16 of the Amplifier Classic says, Study and be eager, and do your utmost to present yourself to God approved, tested by trial, a workman who has no cause to be ashamed, correctly analyzing and accurately dividing, rightly handling and skillfully teaching the word of truth, but avoid all empty, vain, useless, idle talk, for it will lead people into more and more ungodliness. If you want to see your life go from glory to glory, Pastor says, avoid empty, vain, useless, idle talk. Rather, give yourself to the ministry of the word and praying in the spirit. 2 Corinthians 3.18 of the Amplifier Classic says, And all of us, as with unveiled face, because we continue to behold in the word of God as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are constantly being transfigured into his very own image in ever-increasing splendor and from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. Who glory, glory, glory to God. If you've been studying the word, beholding the glory of God, Pastor says you've contacted something. Don't let it leave you. Hold on to it. Sustain it through prayer and meditation on the word. Hallelujah. O oh Lord, thank you for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. All right, let's take our prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say it with me. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word that has come to my spirit today. I'm transfigured and the glory is resplendent even in my countenance as I pray in the spirit. I'm transformed in every area of my life from glory to glory and the light of your word shines forth brightly in me. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, for further study, please read Acts 6 verse 15, Ephesians 5, 18 to 20, and Luke 9, 28 to 30. We know you have been blessed by this excerpt. We'd like to invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by saying this prayer. Say, O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name I have eternal life. I'm born again. 
Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Congratulations, you are now a child of God.